Explorers, experts, and, on occasion, regular people make incredible discoveries every single day. Sometimes, we don't hear about some of the ones that go under the radar discovered under ordinary circumstances by ordinary people. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three fascinating discoveries. Scientists find the source of mysterious pulses being blasted towards Earth. Since 2014, scientists have pondered the odd and unexplained gamma rays that we have been receiving here on Earth, with them being repeatedly blasted in our direction. However, scientists have found the spot these gamma rays have been coming from. These gamma ray pulses that we have been receiving here on Earth have been, for years, a topic of great scientific research with astronomers finally tracking this previously unexplained occurrence down to a celestial body referred to as PSR J20395617. To those of us who are not quite up to date with celestial objects, PSR J20395617 is a neutron star, spinning rapidly on its axis. A neutron star is typically very small, with a radius nearing, though usually not exceeding, 30 kilometers. These neutron stars also hold an incredibly high density made of neutrons in close proximity to one another. Our current scientific understanding of neutron stars is that they are formed after the gravitational collapse of a supernova, when a black hole is not made due to the smaller size of the object. Whilst some of the initial hypotheses as to what this object firing gamma rays is did include a neutron star, orbiting quickly found another star. Other possibilities have also been in discussion. Furthermore, until now there was no proof, never mind substantial concrete evidence, that this was indeed the case. Scientists have now definitively concluded that the neutron star that has been firing gamma pulses is part of a binary system, meaning that this neutron star is gravitationally bound to one other star. In this instance, PSR J20395617 orbits a star that is an estimated one-sixth the size of the Sun within our own solar system. This orbital pattern, combined with the 377 rotations per second, has been concluded to force a gradual, steady evaporation of the neutron star. This evaporation seems to have released gamma rays that have been detected through the space telescopes we have put into space from Earth. Whilst this phenomenon had sparked interest worldwide, the research team was led by a group of scientists working at the University of Manchester. One of the largest aids in this research, however, was the crucial involvement of the Einstein at Home program. This was a volunteered study where researchers were given access to the computer power of PCs that had been volunteered for usage. In its essence, this means that researchers, if the computer were not in use, could gain extra power. This project was aided by thousands of civilians who may not have possibly comprehended what they were helping to complete. With one computer, this data analysis would have taken over 500 years. The aid from people's homes allowed the same results to be conducted in only two months. The community spirit truly is tangible, as we close the book on a scientific mystery that has been puzzling astronomers since 2014. Bill Gates' venture aims to spray dust into the atmosphere to block the sun. Bill Gates, one of the most famous billionaires in the world, has been financially supporting the research of sun-dimming technology, which may theoretically reflect the sunlight trapped in the Earth's atmosphere back out to the cosmos, which would create a much-needed global cooling effect, helping us with the struggle of continuous global warming. The Scopex, or Stratospheric Controlled Perturbation Experiment, was launched by scientists from Harvard University, who pondered on a way to assist our global struggle, finally coming up with a calcium carbonate dust spray, which is notably non-toxic, and plan on spraying it into the air. Despite the great things this could bring, this has been an area of much controversy. Solar geoengineering is believed to be a science unworthy of pursuit, with many claiming it has many unforeseen hazards and could worsen the situation by creating a drastic shift in weather patterns that would only form more issues. 
Environmentalists also fear that using this as a quick fix will encourage unethical consumption of fossil fuels, which got us in this situation in the first place. Currently, the project is set to take an experimental step in June when they will travel to Kiruna in Sweden with the permission of the Swedish Space Corporation, where they are going to launch a balloon carrying their experiment up 12 miles high. It will not spray any of the calcium carbonate this time around. It is going to be a scope to see whether the balloon is maneuverable and works well. The next step may be releasing actual sprays into the atmosphere to test whether the theory is correct and if it will indeed help us deal with global warming. No one truly knows what effect this spray or geoengineering experiments will have long term on our planet. Only after it is released into the atmosphere will we be able to observe its effects. Not to mention, there is much uncertainty regarding how much CaCO3 will be required to cool the greenhouse effect. There is a fear we may release too much, and it could become a catastrophe. Freezing temperatures can cause atrocious famines and make ordinary survival difficult if we are not careful with how much CaCO3 is sent into the atmosphere. It could also cause more future refugee crises, with people all over the globe seeking shelter in countries with more stable temperatures. David Keith, a scientist, has suggested the formation of a risk pool to be used to aid smaller countries as compensation for any harm that may befall them from such experiments, but some consider it to be a cruel idea as money cannot replace lands lost as collateral damage, should the land become inhabitable. Future plans for global geoengineering have been stopped in 2019 by various countries during a meeting of the United Nations, namely America, Brazil and Saudi Arabia. In order for any proper progress to occur, there will need to be a global agreement, but considering all the risks, it seems the better alternative is for a bigger push towards renewable energy sources so that the usage of fossil fuels will stop. The world is full of revelations and transcendent discoveries, but no great discovery is made without the threat of sacrificing our morality, our very humanity, for the sake of technology. Untouched Mayan Ritual Cave Some of the most amazing discoveries are made while searching for something else, as was the case with an unbelievable cave that was discovered on Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Explorers with the Great Mayan Aquifier Project were hunting for a sacred well below a Mayan city in order to search for the water table that ran below the city. However, what they found instead was an ancient cave system called Balamku, or Jaguar God by the Mayans. The Mayans believed that caves and sinkholes were windows into the underworld and thus used this set of seven interconnected caves as ritual offering chambers. So when Guillermo de Anda uncovered the tunnel leading to the cave and managed to crawl on his stomach through the treacherous entryway, he was rewarded with piles and piles of incense burners, pots, and other ritual artifacts that have been sealed away from human eyes for centuries. Although the caves were discovered and briefly mentioned in a report in 1959, the entrances were immediately resealed and forgotten, and the contents inside have lain so undisturbed that stalagmites have grown around the artifacts scattered on the floor. The most important aspect of this find is what it can tell historians about the Mayan civilization at Chizen Isa, such as when it collapsed, as well as more intimate details of what exactly occurred in the ancient Mayan rituals that have been so mysterious and baffling for so long. De Ander, the explorer who was the first person inside the cave for many years, spoke about what this means for the archaeological community, saying, Balamku can tell us not only the moment of collapse of Chisen Isa, it can also probably tell us the moment of its beginning. Now we have a sealed context with a great quantity of information, including usable organic matter, that we can use to understand the development of Chisen Isa. It was truly fortunate that the cave was sealed following its discovery in the late 50s as now archaeologists can use 3D mapping, paleontology and many new cutting-edge technologies to analyse the placement and composition of the artefacts, as well as preserve any that they may wish to remove from the caves. We can only wait and see what mysteries might be waiting to be solved. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? 
Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.